all the trees on earth turned to carnivorous trees and started using human being as nutrients. The trees started destroying cities and killing human beings. The earth became chaotic as people ran for their lives. A girl named Yun Yun can be seen in the middle of the chaos crying and calling her father. In the next scene Yun Yun was standing in front of a dog that looks like her pet. She called the dog and wanted to carry it when her father came. Her father scolded her for wondering about alone in this dangerous planet. As her father was scolding her, he heard a noise in the bush some distance away. As he turned to the direction of the noise, the dog ran away and Yun Yun pursued it. Her father called her back but she didn't listen so he pursued her. After pursuing her for some time he caught up to Yun Yun. But in front of Yun Yun is a very big carnivorous tree. Yun Yun father immediately carried Yun Yun on her shoulder and ran away, but the tree has already seen them and started pursuing them. As they ran Yun Yun told her father to run faster that the tree is getting closer. Yun Yun's father ran with all his speed and as the tree was about to catch up to them Yun Yun's father jumped and fell on a bridge. He stood up immediately and kept running, this time the tree has stopped pursuing them. Their house has been destroyed by the carnivorous trees so they now live in the middle of the bridge where the tree cannot get them easily. Inside their house, Yun Yun apologized to her father for not listening to him. She asked him if he regrets saving her instead of her mother when the carnivorous trees destroyed their house. Yun Yun's father told her that he don't regret saving her and that he loves her. He wore her a watch that he can use to track her location and then lay her on her bed which was made of iron cage and then went to his own bed. But unknown to them, a carnivorous tree is slowly crawling into their house. Yun Yun's father saw a dream of when her wife was still alive, in the dream, they were in the car when the incident of the carnivorous tree started. And it started destroying the earth. Yun Yun's father suddenly heard Yun Yun crying and calling him so he woke up and rushed to where Yun Yun was. He saw that the carnivorous tree has already wrapped itself around the iron cage which Yun Yun's bed was in. As Yun Yun's father was trying to save Yun Yun, the carnivorous tree dragged the cage underground. Yun Yun's father looked into the underground but couldn't see them so he used his watch to track Yun Yun's location. He followed the watch direction and entered inside a ruined house. He saw Yun Yun watch on the ground and also a dead person that was killed by the snake. As he was searching for Yun Yun, he heard Yun Yun's voice calling him Papa. He ran to the direction of the voice and saw Yun surrounded by the trees. The carnivorous trees are afraid of light so he threw his touch light to Yun Yun and she used it to chase those trees away from her. He father is no longer with any touch light so some of the carnivorous trees started coming close to him. As he was struggling against the carnivorous trees Yun Yun reminded her to break open the window behind him. He started hitting the window and picked up something to break the window but the tree has gotten to him and started squeezing his body. Yun Yun flashed the touch light where her father is giving him the chance to three the object he was holding to the window. The window broke and rays of light flashed into the house. The rays of light hit those trees and they all retreated. Yun Yun's father fell down and lost consciousness as he remembered how his wife died. His wife was a scientist and she predicted that the tree will gain consciousness and that organic manure and fertilizer will not be enough for them so they will start feeding on human beings. His wife was desperate and was trying to find a way to stop those trees. Just then their house started shaking and a carnivorous tree broke into their house. The carnivorous tree wrapped itself around his wife and wanted to drag her away but he caught her hand. His wife then told him to leave her and go and save their daughter instead. She shook his hand off her hand, and the carnivorous tree dragged her away. As Yun Yun's father was still unconscious the carnivorous tree has already wrapped his body trying to drag him away but Yun Yun held him tightly. Just then, some soldiers ran into the house and started fighting with the carnivorous trees. As they were fighting one of them turned on a biological lamp and all the carnivorous trees retreated. Yun Yun's father who has now woken up thanked the soldiers for saving them. One of the soldiers told Yun Yun's father that a global tree tide is coming in 52 hours and all the human being on earth is going to die from it. But he should not worry because they have found a way to stop it. He explained to him that 47 team of which they are one of them has been sent to different part of the earth to launch a sedative deep underground where the roots of those carnivorous trees is, and that if they succeeded, all those carnivorous trees will die. As they were talking they received a biological signal that the carnivorous tree is attacking again. They looked around but didn't see any tree coming and the signal is still showing that it is getting closer. As they were still looking for the tree, it came out from underground where they kept the biological lamp destroying the biological lamp. Everywhere became dark and they started fighting with the carnivorous tree. When everything quietened down they all hid themselves. The carnivorous tree searched for them in the house. Yun Yun and her father walked across the body of the carnivorous tree quietly. They want to escape through the other way. 
but they mistakenly made a noise and the tree turned around. They went into hiding again but the carnivorous tree found Yun Yun. As it wanted to attack Yun Yun, Yun Yun's father came trying to fight it. The leader of the lunch team who the carnivorous tree has wrapped around him told all of them to run. They were not willing to leave him but he scolded them and they ran away. As they ran away, the leader of the lunch team pressed an explosive and exploded together with the carnivorous tree. The others were sad that one of them is dead. They told Yun Yun's father to follow them and help them since he knew about biological signal and other biological things. Yun Yun's father refused and told them that he wants to leave with his daughter. As he was leaving with Yun Yun, Yun Yun ran back to those soldiers. Her father called her and she said that she wants to complete her mother's goal of saving the word. Yun Yun's father then agreed to go with them. As they were going they received another biological signal that a small-scale carnivorous tree tide is coming. House started falling and they started running. They saw a bus and started entering the bus, but one of them didn't make it and was killed by the tide. They all entered the bus and fastened their seat belts except Yun Yun's father who didn't have time to fasten his own. The tide reached the bus and it started rolling. Yun Yun's father nearly fell from the car but managed to save himself. The bus rolled past a cliff and fell inside a skyscraper. As they all came out of the bus, they cried bitterly for losing another member. Later they wanted to contact the headquarters but realized that their signal booster has been destroyed so they cannot contact the headquarters. They despaired and didn't know what to do thinking that the lunch plan is going to fail. Just then Yun Yun's father pointed to a signal tower and told them that they can get signal in the tower. They were all happy and decided to move to the tower through a small bridge that connects both houses together. As they were crossing the bridge, a house fell. They all thought that they are dead but luckily the house didn't reach where they were. Yun Yun mistakenly fell down from the bridge but the team leader who tied a rope around his body also jumped and caught her. Unfortunately the rope wasn't strong enough to carry both of them so the team leader sacrificed himself to save Yun Yun. The bridge started shaking so they all ran quickly to the other side and barely made it. They were able to contact the headquarters and report their situation to them. The headquarters told them that they have just discovered that the lunch plan will not be able to stop the carnivorous trees and that they can only give up and wait for death when the global tide comes. Yun Yun's father picked up the microphone and started speaking, he convinced them that it is better they die trying than to give up. They were all motivated by his speech and they continued with the mission. When they reached the lunch area they lunched the sedative but it wasn't able to penetrate underground where the roots of the carnivorous trees are, making the lunch plan a complete failure. They all despaired and concluded that they are all going to die. Suddenly Yun Yun's father thought of a plan. He told them that some can go underground where the volcanic eruption usually occurred and use explosive to force the volcano to move backward thereby destroying all the carnivorous tree roots. The, the others agreed with the plan and Yun Yun's father hugged Yun Yun and kissed her before going. Deep underground, Yun Yun's father locked the gate that leads to where the volcano is and told the other person to go back. The other person cried and told him to open the door, but Yun Yun's father told her to promise him he will take care of his daughter. Yun Yun's father sacrificed himself and finally it worked. All the carnivorous trees died and everyone was happy. But no doubt they all paid a huge prize.